Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am C Tech Dude. Hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be unboxing and giving you my first impressions of the T-Mobile Rebel 5G. This phone just launched on T-Mobile and Metro PCS for $400, and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Here we go. Break the seal. This phone is brand new, just got it in the mail today. And I want to see what's in the box with you guys. There we go. So there is the actual phone wrapped in plastic. Let's put that to the side for a second, see what else is in the box. Here is the SIM card and instruction manual. Looks like you also have a SIM injector pin in the bottom, and you sure do. That'll be useful for later when I do put my SIM card in there. And let's see what else is in here. You have the USB-C cable. It's actually braided. Looks pretty nice and sturdy. That's good. Don't want a weak cable. You know what I'm saying. And on the other side, if I can get it open. There we go. You have that white branded T-Mobile logoed charging brick. This is a quick charge charging brick, so that's good. Put that back in the box for now and get started on the main phone. So I'm gonna take the plastic off this guy real fast. Oh, it just slides out. That's pretty nice. Well, maybe it doesn't. There we go. So right off the bat, this phone looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's got a nice reflection, uh, pink magenta color on the back. I really like that. I think it looks very cool, honestly. It feels real nice. It feels matte finished on the back. It's made of glass. You got that power button. It's that pink or magenta power button over here. It actually doubles as a notification light, so that's pretty awesome. You got the volume rocker over here, just plastic. No big deal. SIM card slot on the other side. Headphone jack on top. Yes. On the bottom, you have the single loudspeaker and the USB-C port. And you have that triple camera array set up back here, just this little square, plus the fingerprint sensor. These cameras are 48 megapixel for the main shooter, a uh, ultra wide eight megapixel camera, and a five megapixel macro camera, plus the LED flash. So yeah, uh, honestly, it feels really good in the hand. I'm not gonna lie. It's got a 4,500 milliamp hour internal battery, which is awesome. It should last forever. Snapdragon 765G, which is launching in a lot of these mid range devices. It's gonna get the same performance as about a Snapdragon 845, which is about a two year old processor, but it should get pretty good performance in my opinion. The speaker sounds pretty loud to me. It's got a 6.53 inch full HD plus LCD. It's got a 19 by nine aspect ratio. You got the hole punch front camera up here, 16 megapixels. Overall, uh, I'm that screen looks really nice. Just first impressions. So let's go and see how the fingerprint sensor works. Just gonna register real fast. It's in a good position on the back of the phone. Very easy to reach in my opinion. Also has face unlock, so that's pretty sweet. So it's got a real fast face enrollment, so that's nice. And go ahead and turn that on. It's got something called Next Vision, which is a TCL kind of trademark for their screens. It's supposed to give some color correction and color depth and vividness to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And now we're at the main launcher. Got Google now on the left hand side. Feels real quick. Feels like stock Android so far. Honestly, I'm impressed with that screen so far. It looks really good. I'm gonna go open up the cameras. Here's the normal mode and the wide mode. So the wide mode definitely lets a lot more in the frame, so that's pretty cool. It's 
It's got portrait mode on here. Switching between cameras seems pretty quick. Maybe a little bit of lag, but not bad. You got super night mode on here as well. Can't really try that right now because it's bright. And you actually have pro mode on here, which is nice. So you can do all the manual controls you want. Only for photo though, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's video. It's got a couple other modes in here, slow motion, stop motion, I have to play around with that. Light trace, which will do like a long exposure type thing. That should be pretty cool. High pixel. So it takes 48 megapixel frames like that. So overall, pretty basic camera app. Looks like it'll get the job done just fine though. So first impressions, guys, um, I think I'm really gonna like this phone. It's got 5G built in, which, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I haven't used 5G too much, so that'd be a nice treat. Screen looks great. It has a nice weight to it. It feels really good in the hand. Love the back pattern back here, the kind of magenta logo, the matte finish, fingerprint sensor. Works great. Speaker sounds pretty loud, although it is just a single firing down speaker at the bottom. Um, it's got NFC built in, that's pretty sweet. Backlit power key, you can turn that on and off. I'm gonna leave it on because that's pretty cool. In my opinion, it replaces the notification light. This phone does have a micro SD card expansion slot in the same SIM card tray. It's got 120 gigabytes of internal storage, Snapdragon 765, six gigs of RAM, that huge 4,500 milliamp hour battery. I'm excited. Uh, specs seem pretty good at the price range. I'm excited to try it out and get you the full review. So first impressions, guys. Yeah, uh, looks really good. Um, $400, pretty sweet deal, I think. Hopefully when my full review comes out, I'll let you know if it's worth the money. But so far, definitely seems like it is. There's no always on display. Disappointing, but it is an LCD. That's what you expect. So I'll play around this phone for a while. Uh, give you my full review in about a week or two. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can get the full review. But this is just a quick unboxing, quick first impressions. I'm CE Tech Dude. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.